Hoffa Day, I'm Tanya Chompoka Mendiola with Joint Media Mariana's Public Affairs Office. Thank you for joining us for another segment of Island Images. The oceans around Guam that surround Guam have an abundance of natural resources that we can draw from. But today's modern conveniences make it very easy for us to take this for granted. For instance, when we want to cook with salt and we don't have any at home, we just run to the convenience store. Well, decades ago, Chamorros and the people of Guam didn't have that convenience. They would actually have to harvest salt water from the oceans and actually go through a very long process to actually get salt that they needed to preserve their food or to cook their food with. So we are here at Geth Pago Cultural Center in the historic village of Inarahan in southern Guam to learn about this interesting process of salt making. Right now we are joined by Mr. Carlos Paulino from the village of Inarahan and he's going to show us uh, the methods of making traditional salt on Guam. Thank you so much for joining us Mr. Paulino. Welcome sir, ma'am, to our historic cultural village here in, in Alahan. Um, the hut behind us actually is the, you know, the, where we process sea salt and we're showcasing from the late 1800s to early 1940. That was a long time ago. And you know, the history behind that is that, you know, we, we need to, to make sea salt because why? We season our food every day and of course we use sea salt to preserve some of our, you know, cats. Remember there's no electricity, there's no means of refrigeration and we all depend on the sea salt to preserve some of those cats. Why don't we go inside the sea salt hut and uh, watch Mr. Paulino through the process. What do we have here, Mr. Paulino? Well, this is actually the people used back then. This is yesterday and this is today. We have our convenience for today is that we have a lot of container, but back then in the late 40 or early 1940, people used this to carry seawater as well as fresh water. It's a bamboo? Uh, yes, the bamboo. Probably there's about six of this and a pole hanging here. You hang tree here and tree in the back and you go out to at the reef, you know, and uh, get your seawater. The pot back here is contain about 10 gallons of seawater. It okay. takes about almost two days and continue boiling it. Eventually, the water will evaporate and all the salt content remain on the bottom. Then, of course, you need to uh, scoop uh, the salt out. Mm -hmm. And just using a, a strainer. Yeah. You can see the salt here. Yeah, it's settling on the bottom. Uh, yeah. So you have to get your fire really, right. really yeah. high. Right. So the preferred method is like an open open yeah. air wood fire? Mm -hmm. Yes, they prefer to use the tanatong, especially when it's dry. Back in the day, when you gather the sea salt, that um, you don't have to strain it for any sand? No. Because no, you gather because, it from the reef? Right, yeah. It's deep enough where, you know, it's free from the sand. Of course, they use the coconut leaf basket uh, when you scoop the salt and they, they use that, you know, to put it out to dry it. Is something similar Yeah, something like, like that. The wave that's pounding to the reef, there's seawater in there and then evaporate, you can see salt on it. That's how the idea that they learn how to make sea salt from uh, their experience, just seeing it on, you know, those that dry on the, the rock actually, it turns into sea salt. But people use it, uh, they burn it. Of course, you make sea salt by uh, using a big pot, of course, and continue burning it so that the water will evaporate and the salt content is on the bottom. Boiling, it takes about two days? Yes, two days. When you're done boiling the water and I'm boiling the sea salt and you, you gather the sea salt. So you take it out here to a table like this? Yes. And just lay it out under lay the sun? Yes. Okay. Whole day, actually. And it takes about between two to three days time to, for the sea salt to be dry. Okay. It's really good. Yes. Yeah. It's a different flavor. It's like a short it's, flavor, but right. it's really good. 
to uh, refine it, you could use the um, a cup, you know, to smash it. Smash it. Yeah. This is how much of approximately we, uh, every other day, we scope out from that pot. And we put it on the sun to dry it. How many pounds do you think we this have This is here? about a pound uh, and a half, probably. And this is from 10 gallons of water? 10 gallons of water, yes. Today, cooking with sea salt, some people say uh, don't use too much of it because if it's, it's uh, saltier than like regular no. table salt. I think they, they prefer sea salt than the, the salt actually they're buying from the store. Yeah, the iodized the, uh, salt, yes. right? Because this is because very natural Because there is salts. no preservative on it. Casey okay, Zeus Malasi, thank you, Mr. Polina, so yeah. much for sharing your yeah. knowledge of uh, salt making with yes. us and allowing us to come down here and watch you do the process. Mm. Okay, I thank you. you too for visiting us. Promoting our culture is very important. We hope you've learned a little bit more about Chamorro culture from this segment. So thank you for joining us. Adios.